welcome back or to my channel. So, um, just ignore the fact that my necklace is, uh, attached to my neck, to my, um, head for some reason. I think that's a glitch royal high that is similar to the glitch that happened, like, over Velt like in February and I am still waiting for it to be fixed so just ignore that uh but um yeah so for today's video I am going to be t doing a video where I'm going to be talking about just some updates that I would like to see in Royal High now, now I know that the devs are already busy because they're probably like right now they're probably making the update for spring slash easter and then they're also working on the new school but this is just some suggestions from a royal high player of what i would like to see in the for updates in the future so um yeah let's just get started So the Dewdrop Showers update is basically Royal High's new St. Patrick's Day update, and it came out earlier in the in um, March. So I love this update. It is actually pretty fun to do because you can get new accessories from basically just whenever it rains, the flowers will open, and then you can get accessories from the flowers. And I love this update, it's really fun. And I do like a lot of the St. Patrick's Day accessories. They're not my favorite ones, but I do think they're really nice. Although there is one nitpick I have about this update, and that is you get a lot of duplicates. Like a lot of duplicates. So I don't exactly appreciate having like eight different rainbow diamond earrings. I mean, they're good for trading, but I never go to trading, so they're kind of annoying. What I would like as like a little bit of an update, if like for like an update on this um, uh, update, that was a lot of update in one sentence. I feel like a nice thing to do is to just, like, make it so that you can get, that you can only get a certain amount of duplicates, like maybe four or five, so that you don't have eight different thing of the same item in your inventory, because that gets very annoying. So, yeah, I would definitely appreciate it if Royal High could just, like, let us have, um, only give you, like, four or five duplicates of the same item instead of eight. That would, like, very much, like, remove a lot of unnecessary clutter in your inventory. Also, another thing I would like is if you could get every, is before it starts giving you duplicates, if it could give you, like, w like one of every accessory in the, um, that you can get from this update before it starts giving you duplicates because that way you have at least one of each before it starts. That I would also really like because I, I have it now, but like for a while I was trying to get this, the Fresh Royal Pearl Necklace because it looks really pretty and I just was getting everything else. It's, it was really annoying. Like, uh, I would really like it if Royal High could just give you one of each accessory first and then give you the, um, and then start giving you duplicates because that, yes, that would make sure that you have at least one of each accessory before it starts, like, giving you a bunch of other stuff. Pass in Royal High, and that game pass is the um, if it will uh, show up, the designer pass, which gives you access to over 500 special fabrics and that you can use on like skirts, accessories, um, heels. And I own this fabric pass, and it is a really nice pass to 
have because like you can have like rainbow stuff, you can have like just teddy bears or like fish or fruit or some other thing like that on your like on your outfit. Like Rich, I'm not gonna keep that on, but this is like an example. We have like that fabric pass. And then there's like this and this. There's a lot of options here. Although one thing that does slightly annoy me about this pass is that, uh, well, there's two things actually. First of all, why is there no red fabric design pass? Like there's one for every other color. We have blue, black, brown, green, pink, purple, orange, white, and yellow. But where is red? There is no red game path. I mean, there is no red fabric sorter. It's like, why? Like, red is a color too. I mean, like, I would understand maybe not having brown, but like, why red? Can we have a red sorter in the fabric designs, please? Also, another thing is that I really wish that there was a fabric sorter so that you could sort by, like, a, um, so that you could like maybe sort by like creator's name because that would definitely save you a lot of time especially if you're trying to find a fabric design that's like very far down it would really like i really like that like um for example like this fabric design pass that my mouse is hovering over says luminous eva that would be like a nice way to do it or if we scroll down more uh, to this we have, um, called Mid Valerie, and then we have White Rabbit, and you kind of get the point, like, having a fabric sorter so that you can, like, sort by the, like, name of the creator of whatever fabric design you pass, whatever fabric design you want to use, because that would save you a lot of time when you have a fabric design game pass that is very far down. So Santa Island might not be the best place if you want to go farm, but I do think it is a very beautiful realm, and it's a very fun realm as well, because if you didn't know, the main purpose of this realm is that every, like, so, is that there will be a pageant theme that will show up up here, and you'll have 10 minutes to figure out to, like, make an outfit according to that theme. And it's very fun to do that. I really like playing this realm, especially when I get new items, because I can use the new items to kind of make up new outfits. Although it does get little, although it does get kind of repetitive when you have more like when you have new when you uh, I'm losing my train of thought when you basically play the same themes over and over and over again it kind of gets a bit repetitive. So one thing I would like for Royal High to do maybe as like part of like the summer update or something is to add some new pageant themes to the Santa Island pageant theme list because that way we can have more themes to dress up to. And it doesn't even have to be a lot of themes. Like I'm not even asking for like 20 more themes. Like maybe just like three or four. I know that I didn't really talk about this because I don't usually do the mini updates. I mostly do like the like seasonal updates on my update logs on my channel. But basically back in like early, back, back in like late February, basically Royal High was kind of like called out for kind of some stuff that had to do with like the mostly the black community and then the LBG. TQ community as well. So basically they went and fixed it. And part of that update was they actually got rid of four Santa Island themes and the those themes being the your signature look as gender bend, the um ancient Egypt one, the uh Southern Bell theme, and then they also got rid of the ugliest outfit theme because they were kind of um because they were kind of being, being misrepresented
represented and also they were kind of encouraging hateful behavior as well. So those four themes got removed. So as like part of a summer update maybe, I would really like it if Royal High could like maybe add like three or four new themes to kind of substitute for the themes that got removed from the theme list. So I would really like that. I, for like maybe some like I feel like maybe for a little bit of an idea of a theme that could maybe exist, maybe we could do like a fall and spring theme because we have a theme for like winter and we have one for summer as well. But I think it would be cool if we could have like a theme for like fall or spring or something like that. And maybe some other themes as well. Again, I think it would really make it more fun because that way we have some more themes to dress up to instead of just the ones that we have in, that we have already. So I believe back in like Christmas of 2020, Wow, that seems like it was forever ago. I mean, like, that seems like it was, like... I know that was, like, over a year ago, but... Christmas 2020. I don't know, it seems like that was so, like... It feels like that was just months ago, really. But basically, the apartment's lobby was introduced back in Christmas of 2020, I believe. And this lobby is very beautiful. Like, I love the design of this lobby. It is really beautiful. And also, I see that there are... A, this is a nice realm for, like, role-playing as, like, hotel or, like, um, receptionists for, like an apartment's place, and they see a lot of people doing that, and I think it's really nice, because we don't really have a lot of role players anymore, like, I know there are still role players, but, like, they kind of have dwindled out more in the recent years, like, there were a lot of them back in, like, 2018, and like, 2019, but I think they've started to kind of disappear in recent years, it's mostly new players that are doing role-playing. So this is a nice realm if you want to do role-play. It's like a lot similar to the um, Fantasia Hotel realm, which is also a nice place for role-playing as well. Although I do kind of have one nitpick about this, and that is that you can't teleport directly to your apartment anymore. See, like, the apartment rooms were introduced before the apartment lobby, so before you just teleport directly to your apartment. But now you have to go through this realm to get to another realm, and that gets kind of annoying. It's similar to how we don't have a teleporter to the Moonlight Square realm, and, like, on the map, and you have to go to Earth to go to Moonlight Square, which is also annoying. Uh, one thing I would, for, like, an update that I would like Royal High to do, is that I would like it if Royal High could add in a, like, teleporter on the map that just took you directly to your apartment instead of going just to the, instead of going to the apartment lobby. So you could have like a teleporter for the apartment lobby and one for just the apartment rooms if you just want to go to the apartment rooms or you just want to go to the lobby. Uh, you would still have the teleporters in the like apartment lobby to go like for the stairs over here to go to your apartment and then also the elevators but there would also be a separate teleporter, so you don't have to go through this round just to get to your apartment room. And they did something similar with this, with, like, Earth, because before, when the, when the intergalactic training hub was first introduced, it was, there was a spaceship on Earth, and there is still there. Oh, well, it's a UFO on Earth. It's still there, but you basically have to go to Earth to go to the trading hub. But now they have introduced a separate realm for it, so you don't have to go through Earth just to get there. I would like if they could do that with the apartment's lobby. And maybe while they're at it, probably do something similar with Moonlight Square, where they could have, like, their Moonlight Square could actually have its own teleporter to, for, like, on the map, because I feel like that's a good place. I use that a lot, um, like, I use that on 
a lot of my videos is like a backdrop because it's a nice place for a backdrop because it's a very pretty, it's not, I don't think it's Rawhide's best build, but it is like a very pretty place and I think it would be good for role playing too. It's like a nice place if you want to do like a city role play or something. Also, Royal High, I have one more thing before I'm done with this section. Why is the apartment lobby still in Christmas? It is March! It is March! It's not Christmas anymore! Why is it still Christmas in here? I mean, I love Christmas too, but like, it's not Christmas anymore! Royal High! Th th it's not Christmas! You need to, um, un-update the, the, like, apartment's lobby from Christmas! It's not Christmas anymore! This next one is actually one that is very specifically has to do with Christmas. So that is why I'm still in the apartments lobby because like I said, for some reason, the apartments lobby is still updated to Christmas, even though it's like late March, which is very weird. I have no idea why Royal High still it, it, why it's still Christmas here. I mean, like, I know the Valentine's Day update. I'm pretty sure the Valentine's Day update is still in, like, the Davinia Park area, even though it's not showing up like that on the map. But, I mean, Valentine's Day passed, like, a month ago. Like, I can understand that, but why is it still... Why is it still Christmas here? <laughs> Christmas was, like, four months ago. Uh, but anyway, so this is, so I'm getting off track here. So for an update that I want to see happen in Royal High, this is very specific, but I would really like to see a Nutcracker themed, uh, winter set. Because as you guys know, or if you're new to this channel, you probably don't know this, but, like, I mean, the channel, the, like, name of this channel is literally called Fashionista Ballerina. So, like, the content I do on this channel is, like, bal is, like, dance, fashion, and royal high related. Mostly of the first two that I spoke about. And, uh, so, I am an aspiring ballerina, and I love ballet. And the Nutcracker is, like, a very, it's, like... A ballet that like every ballerina has done at least once in their life. It is a very important ballet, and I love the Nutcracker. The Nutcracker is a very, it's a very nice ballet. It's very happy. It's very joyful. It like definitely captures that like spirit of um Chris of Christmas. And I've been waiting for like years ever since the Star Frost set came out. I've been waiting for years for a Nutcracker themed set to come out for the winter set and it has yet to come out so i would really like it if this christmas we got a winter set that was nutcracker themed i don't know exactly what you do for this i feel like a nice thing you could do is like maybe make like a sugar plum like maybe since they have like this since they ever since we got like the like um set for uh the Mon Ever since we got the Mon Sherry set, we've been getting a lot of, like, female versions of the set and then masculine versions of the set. And since, and I feel like for the Nutcracker set, you could do something, like, maybe make it, like, the feminine version could be, like, the Sugar Plum Fairy. You could make, like, the Sugar Plum Fairy for the feminine version. And then for the masculine version, you could do, like, the Cavalier. That would be a nice... Or the Nutcracker. The Cavalier or the Nutcracker. I think that would be really nice. It would be kind of similar to, like, the, um... It would kind of be similar to the Opposites of Track set, where it's, like... It's where they have, like, the Sweetheart version and the, like, I guess, like, goth version. But instead, this would be Sugar Plum Fairy and Cavalier. I think that would be a really nice idea, and I would really love it if we could get a Sugar Plum Fairy. I mean, if we could get a Nutcracker set in Royal High. I would really love that, actually, because, like I said, I love the Nutcracker. It's probably, like, my second favorite ballet, and I would really like it if we could get... A nutcracker, a, a nutcracker set, and, like, I 
have been waiting for that for years and I still haven't got it. So I really hope we can do that. So while high, there are actually two different options that you can use for your face makeup. The first thing is just like the pre-made faces under the feminine and masculine makeup that you can just pick and choose from. Now, I use these a lot because it's pretty quick to find them, and that way you don't have to spend a lot of time, like, making a face. Although, with my regular Royal High character, I actually use the um, custom makeup, which gives you a lot of different options to that gives you more customization. Like, you can, like, choose what the eyes are going to be like, you can choose what the lips can be, and then there's a lot of other marks that you can do. And there's also like lipstick that you can choose from, although I don't use the lipstick. But there, I love all this, but one thing I would like to see is if we could have an option that lets you have two different eye colors. I know that there are certain sets of eyes on here, like this one, that like give you two different types of eyes that looks really weird with the um, makeup I'm using right now. Actually, I'm going to go find my regular eyes. But I would really like it if you could have, like, if you could have the option to have, like, if there was, like, a separate thing on this thing that, like, lets, that can let you color the left eye one color and then the right eye the other color. This one's probably not the most, the one that I like. I would want to see the most Royal High, but I do think it would be a really cool thing if we could have that, if we could just have, like, be able to have, like, one eye, like, blue, and then the other eye could be, like, red or something like that. So, like, it would kind of look like this. This is a certain type of eye color that lets you, like, type of eyes that lets you have... Two different colored eyes, but I don't really like this eye shape, so I don't really use it. I don't really have, like, I don't really have much of a reason behind this one other than I just think it would look really cool if we could have this. But, yeah, it basically would let you, like, it, it would basically look like this, have, like, the same sidebar as this, but instead of it just saying eye colors, here would be, like, one that said you with like it would have the same color palette but then there would be another one that says left eye and then one that says right eye i think that would look really cool if we could have that and yeah i think that would be a really cool update that we could use in royal high i think that would be really nice if you could just like color two different eyes different colors again I don't exactly have much of a reason behind this other than I think it would look really cool, but, um, yeah, I think that would be really cool if we could just have, like, two different colored eyes. I think that would be, I think that would be really cool since we already have, like, the option to have, like, different, like, three different types of, um, things under your, like three different types of custom markings and then lips and then eyes. So I think that would be a really cool thing that they could add. But anyways, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to consider liking and subscribing to see more content like this on my channel. But anyways, guys, I hope you had a great day, night, afternoon. Bye, guys.